look at this. This video just in of Terrence Roberts in court this afternoon to face charges. He's the anti-gang activist accused of shooting a young man outside the Denver Boys and Girls Club. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez live with this story that's new at 5. And Lance, you found out Roberts should never have had a gun in the first place. And Terrence Roberts is a convicted felon. Now, he apparently had turned his life around and was mentoring young people, trying to keep them out of gangs. I spoke with him as he left the courthouse today and tried to ask him about the gun and where he got it. He wouldn't answer. Any, any thoughts about what happened in court today? Silence from the anti-gang advocate charged with attempted murder. Police say Terrence Roberts shot Isaiah Hassan Jones during a community rally at the Boys and Girls Club in Park Hill. He told police that Jones pulled a knife on him, but Jones's family says witnesses told them Roberts is the one who had the knife and that he dropped it next to Jones after he shot him. We can't yell out who those witnesses are most definitely, but yes, they, they have been spoken to, and yes, so that has been active. Oh, yes. Yeah. Jones's uncle says Isaiah was shot five times, at least once, while he was lying on the ground. Yeah, he's still in the hospital. He'll be there for a little while. It's a long run, but he's able to text us and send pictures to us. Both the aunt and uncle say that Roberts, a previous felon, should not have had a gun. And according to the court documents, he felt threatened. Well, if you feel threatened, I'm pretty sure President Obama does too. But he doesn't take matters into his own hands to defend himself. They say Roberts should have taken his concerns to police. And he didn't do that. He took matters into his own hand. And I think that when you do that, you have to suffer the consequences that come with that. Now, Roberts, who founded the Prodigal Son Initiative, is also charged with assault and three counts of possession of a weapon by a previous felon. His preliminary hearing is set for October 31st. In downtown Denver, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.